Yo, what's up? This is your boy Derek Branch here of Memphis Wire on Strike Seven Sports for right now. In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and recap tonight today's game between the Memphis Tigers and the Wichita State Stock Shockers, 12 o'clock tip off down at Wichita, Kansas. Memphis won this game um by a score of 112 to 86 over Wichita State. They are not, are not out a 10 game winning streak. Wichita now now has been dropped to eight eight on the season. Good game by Memphis. Uh, finally, you know, we didn't have a game where we were into some late game heroics or a game where you you know you gotta have your Mind you, it was looking like that in that first half. Because in that first half, it's always in these last, you know, based on these last high, these last couple of games that on, it's been, you know, back and forth scuffle, you know what I'm saying? Um, Memphis, you know, during the blow, and the whole team during the blow, he's back and forward. And I felt like it, I kind of felt like it was going headed that direction again. Because going into the halftime, it was Memphis had a three point lead on, um, Wichita State, and there's a lot of, um, you know, miscues in that first half, just pretty much on defense, you know, because Memphis was countering them all the time, you know, putting up points and bunches in, in this game. They countered them all the time in this game. But uh, second half is when things got arrested for the Tigers. Second half is when everybody just caught fire, including David Jones, who's had a, had a I would say he's kind of cold, cooled off, you know, lately. But in this second half, he got going, man. He got going in this game. You know, uh, Vanderbilt was close. Austin Pay was close. Well, Austin Pay was close in the beginning. Pulled off in the second half. Um, um, the game, Tulsa game was close. SMU was close. Um, the one the game I just attended, um, UTSA that was a tight game. So it's just been uh, some nail, some um, edge of your edge of, edge of your, your seat type of games lately. But this matchup is where it stopped. You know, this this team in the second half. They they try to stay into it. You know, you, Wichita State tried to stay into it, but it was just too much, man. Memphis was just the better team in matchup, and it showed. Um, also, uh, a program record, 19 threes were made in this matchup by the Tigers. 19 three-pointers were made. Um, as far as the starting five go, same, same uh, crew as before, uh, Malcolm Dandridge. They booed him. They booed Penny Hardaway, but whatever. Uh, he came back in. He let his presence be on the court. You know, 23 points. Javon Quinlan continues to do what he does. 23 points as well. 11 assists. He's just a playmaker, man. Dynamic. I think one of the dynamic playmakers in college basketball right now. Nicholas Jordan does it all. 12 points. Uh, three assists. One steal. One block. Bounds. He was another commendable performance by him. David Jones got started in the second half, the 19 points, one steal, three to three rebounds. Played 31 minutes. He hit um he was three out of eight from the three point line. He hit three threes in this game. So huge, man. Huge performance by him, man. Um this is great, you know. I think this is this is the best, I would say the best the starting five has looked in a while. Cause you got contributions from everybody. Contributions from everybody from the start on the starting five. Melko had 10 points, six rebounds. Huge got huge production out of Nick Juan, um Tomlin. 
Huge performance. 14 points, three rebounds, one steal. For the Tigers in his uh in his matchup now are uh, 15 and 2 on the season. You've undefeated in the uh, conference play for 4 0. And tomorrow, when the ring out, um, should be, I think it might be in the top 10. You know, you already, y'all, you really can't hold nothing against them, if we're being honest. You know, I know they've had close games against teams that they're head and shoulders above better than, but they didn't lose. You know, um, a lot of teams in the top five, the top the top twenty five lost this past week. A lot of L's in the in the, in the you know in um in college basketball in college basketball among the top programs this past weekend this past week. So Memphis should be at least top in the top ten, and maybe come in at like number eight because they're doing a really good they're doing a really good job. Winning these games, they're finding ways to win these games, despite having you know miscues on the court, despite having issues on defense, they're finding ways to win these games. That's sometimes that's what the term is champions right there. I need a lot of ways to win games out of your you know usual method of approach, and that's what Tigers are doing. You know what I'm saying? So. Kudos to them, man. 15 and 2, 4 and 0, 4 and 0 in conference play. And I think right now, man, you, you're better. To me, you're like the better team than um, FAU, who a lot of team, a lot of people, a lot of analysts, basketball is kind of, you know, crowned them as the favorites to win this conference. I think it's gonna be a weird round, man. I wouldn't be surprised if if Memphis sweeps them. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not bragging or anything like that. Over racking, not proper, not purposely. I wouldn't be surprised if Memphis sweeps them. But it'd be close though. It'd be some close games. You know, let's look at the conference standings so far. Memphis, they're um at the top four zero. North Texas three zero three zero. FAU three and one. They got one loss in the conference. Charlotte three and one. SMU 21, 11 and 5. Special uh, game between um with them and um FAU. So they they took a L recently. So but Memphis is um looking good, man. Memphis looks good. Um Huge phones from the guys, man. Huge out from the team, man. And hopefully, man, this could be the end. This puts an end to, you know, we have we games where we, we're they're not locked in, where we're not, not you know, showing up defensively, where it takes us an extra gear to – it takes us that – it takes them that extra gear to, you know, put teams away. Or, you know, going to overtime, late game horse. Maybe that puts an end to that today. You know, because they look really good today, man. I, I really like I saw on the course today, you know, especially in the second half, where Wichita State tried to, you know, throw a jab back at Memphis, but Memphis just, just have too many options. They just had too many options, too many scoring options. Compared to the um, the Shockers, and that's what got him over the top. So we'll see how everything play out. What's like what lies ahead? They play, uh, I believe, U USF South Florida on Thursday. I think it's a six o'clock tip off um, matchup, and hopefully they can come away with a victory. Hopefully we can get a.
forward, going forward in the future. Um, this channel will be, you know, it's called Memphis Wire, more strike seven sports, but um, after the NCAA tournament, the channel will be rebranded into Memphis Wire. It will be Memphis Wire by itself. We have its own website, memphiswire.net. We'll have all content that's based on Memphis football and Memphis basketball. So there you have it. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.